afternoon people, PJT, proprietor, work my beer, and M. Right, since we bought a bundle load of beers, um, I only watched the unboxing video. Um, don't know where to start, do we? Anyway, this one's chilled, so we're gonna go on this, as you were seeing from the thumbnail, which is East West Brewing uh, Company. They're from Ho Chi Minh City. Mm -hmm. We've actually been in the tap room in Ho Chi. Um, it's a 330 mil can, Vietnamese craft beer, it's the summer Hefeweizen. I don't know anything about it, but 5.9%, yeah. it's going to deliver. It's got a little bit of kick to it, so well, I'm looking forward to trying yep, this one. Not the cheapest beer in the book here, about £1.50 this one. Remember, there's certain other beers, you can get five for the price of that. <laughs> yeah. But this is proper Vietnamese craft beer, and this was a place, as I say, we went to the tap room before we did YouTube, unfortunately. And saw where it was all. Look at the other phone. Oh, stop pouring that. Yeah. You get grab the phone. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Let's see how this pours. Yeah. This man, because we're doing this video, and right there, we can see the uh, wood thing. Wood thing. Get to pull them over. Is a beach bar. We're literally that close, aren't we? Yeah. That looks quality. Look it's at that. looking very good. It's still tiny. Let's put it this way. Um, you can get four. Yeah. Look at that. The cloud in it. So that's got a lovely orangey amber kind of colour there. A real nice haziness to it. It does look special. Like I say, when we went there um, to the tap room, I don't think that was a thing. Obviously, we'll have to use a blunt glass. But as I say, you could get four. Blancs for the price of that, really, didn't you? You could, Because yeah. the Blanc is that cheap here, isn't it? Let's get a hot show and that's all for the background and a nice ball. Won't kill anyone, will it? Look at the head on that. It's got this wonderful creamy head. Where the carbonation is coming up, it's almost like the head is rippling in the glass. Yeah, it's really weird because, it, yeah, you're yeah, right. it's like it's, it's rippling. Like it's, we're doing that and then I should take this with you down a bit, shouldn't I? Like it. But yeah, it's, it's like a. Yeah, it's kind of rippling on there. You won't be able to show you, I don't think. Yeah, it's hard to see it on the camera. Yeah, no. But right, um, it looks the part. Um, smell test? Yes, yes, yes. It looks interesting, shall we say. Um, cool. Quite excited by this. I don't know whether you're going to be getting peach, wow. but yeah, you've got Yeah, oh. you've got that lovely bready kind of smell there. Um, a nice a maltiness. And I'm definitely picking up orange in there. Yeah, it's got that wheat beer yeastiness it's, to it. It's got it's got a zesty kind of um, yeah, I've got mandarin orange, orange yeah. kind of smell to me. Oh, it does smell very very good. Go on, I'll let you go first, as I always do, because oh, okay. I can gauge you. See, by the look in the eyes, I've got a feeling this is going to be a bomb. This is going to be a rate right, my beer special delivery. Ooh, yeah, I know, I just couldn't get it in quite oh, in Jesus the first Christ, time. Yeah. Look at it. Even sediment in there the There was can. sediment coming out the bottom of the bottom. Oh my so god, it's just gone to the bottom. I know, little that, things in these little minds, but that's deep. It's, it's a really important thing for this style of beer. Wow. Yeah, I knew he was going to say that. And there's a mad bit in it, isn't there? You are, you are getting a little bit of a, a bite at the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's creamy as it looked. Um, it's, it's got a medium carbonation. You start with the wonderful um, ready wheatiness. You get a lovely bite of fruit then. I'm still picking up on uh, a zesty mandarin. Lemon as well. Right? But there is, I was just about to say that, there is a little bit of lemon there. I might think there's something like uh, apricot, a little bit of soft fruit um, in there as well. It goes along, and it is, there's resemblances to certain other wheat beers here, but um, yeah, that's, that's decent. Mm. It does, it's definitely a bitter aftertaste, and the bitter aftertaste is really toning down 
like the, the fruit explosion you're getting. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's giving a nice balance to it because, like you say, you have got that real fruity explosion, yeah. lovely creaminess. Despite having a medium carbonation, it's still flowing down quite cleanly. And then Vietnam, I don't know, look, it actually says something on it. Hold on, I might be able to read you this in English, probably totally different to how we've described it. But it's always good to read up on them, isn't it? Right. Okay, what's it say? It says. Oh no, it's not. It's not. Yeah. No. Unless you suddenly started being able to read Vietnamese. <laughs> There's two languages, you see. Isn't it? So I thought. Yeah, I'm not sure what the other language is. Yeah. Don't know. But it's, there's not an English. Just then I thought that'd be really handy, but um, WW. East West Brewing VN, they're on Facebook, they're on Instagram, and you can mail them. No, I'm a serving temperature of 20 degrees, it actually what? says. So I they're, think they must they're be actually, <laughs> No, it says degrees Celsius. Um, so they're basically telling you to serve this at room temperature. I personally prefer it, especially out here, yeah, a little bit degrees. colder than that. But we, we've got it a little bit warmer than what we usually would have, haven't we? This is probably about seven to seven, eight, which is yeah, probably bringing out the flavour. For me, I think that's a really good temperature for this beer. But yes, yeah, it's a shame there's no English on it. Interesting to check. I do think as this warms up, which it's got to do very quickly out here, that the flavours are just going to be more and more enhanced as you it's, go through the glass. Yeah, it's, it's a total win, that is, yeah. You've paid a little bit more. Um, yeah, but of course, of a session, this one could become heavy here because it is more full bodied, especially more than something like Blanc. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got a thicker mouthfeel than mm. Blanc has. But, and then at night time, it's definitely zesty. It's got elements of um, Hackney Church Brewing, St. Clements. Yeah, it has, it has got a little bit of. A little um, bit heavier. Yeah. That's an absolute. That is a really cracker. decent thing, isn't it? Um, I'm, really I'm not going to compare it to Blanc because I've, I have this with Blanc and there's always hate for Blanc in certain dodgy Facebook beer groups. But for Blanc me, it's is. It's actually a different style of yeah, beer. Blanc is a wheat beer, but Blanc's a light bodied wheat beer that hopefully introduces people to wheat beer, but this is a full on wheat beer. This is yeah. like a much more medium um, at least, isn't it? Yeah, for more me full a, body it, for me. For me it's a medium bodied um, medium to full. Reasonably complex beer that just has an abundance of flavour in it. That it's really the flavours that are there are enhance each other and you get the full experience on your palate with every sip. Yeah, and it's proper proper delivery, there's no Two words about it, is it? Yeah, there? I'm. I'm going to rate this beer, and I'm going to rate it highly. It's going to rate my beer of nine for me. <sighs> I like that. You know, it's not a lot left. Eight minutes. Okay. Um, <laughs> no, I've got to have that bottom bit. Right, so you can have one little bit more. You see. I just That's why I took a small bit. sip because I saw the sediment in the bottom, and I thought you were going to want that. <laughs> ah, I just got an intriguing thing about this, and it's absolutely delivered, isn't it? Mm. See, normally Michelle gets all the beers left over. This is my turn. And that tells you he's good. Because usually he's just like, oh, you can mm. have it. I, yeah, that's why I say I can see it in person. Oh, yeah. I've got to go 8.5. Well, there we go. <laughs> Strong 8.5. It's absolutely lovely. As I say, it does border on with the, the St. Clements thing with the orange and lemon. Mm. And uh, But it's a bit heavier. It's a bit more in depth, isn't it? Because yeah. it's gone up a different level. I mean, when we do the the, the Wizen Bowl, this would be something way to, to look at. Yeah. I wonder if I could take one home for him to try, but I'm taking a lot of things home for a lot of people, and let's be honest. We've already got packed suit, uh, yeah. full suitcases, so I'm we're never having do anything it. else. It's got to be different. I have a, a, a son that's like, that, that, yeah, boy, that, 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 it's not going to be that type of idea. Anyway, it's a it's yes, from both of us. Yes, definitely. What can I say? Good. You get the opportunity to try this. Yep. Um, highly recommend it. Enjoy, people. <laughs>